ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, I do upload new videos every Wednesday, sometimes on Friday, so I hope you will hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything new. Okay, so this is style reboot number, uh, number 10, so we've gotten up to 10. And in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about wardrobe basics. It's a topic I've covered before. I did cover it extensively as it relates to fall winter basics. And I went through an entire checklist and talked about what to wear and what to look for for each specific piece. Um, I think I ended up splitting that into two videos and each video was over 20 minutes long. They're really, it was really lengthy. So I'm gonna go about this a little bit differently since um, I feel like more this is more of a series and a tutorial and we wanna kinda get to the heart of the matter quickly. Um, so if you missed any of the style reboot videos, they're all numbered. And I do think that it's important if you are interested in sort of rebooting your style that you go from number one all the way through in um, chronological order. So today's topic, wardrobe basics, I think this is probably one of the most important topics and one of the most overlooked. So when I was seeing clients full time, and I did that for about five years, um, one of the most common issues that clients would have with their wardrobe was that they did not have the basics they needed in order to put outfits together on a regular basis. So there was this commonality or this common thread no matter what the situation for a client that they just were lacking these key basics to wear with the pieces that they were buying. So what ends up happening for most of us is that we're attracted to like the shiny and the bright and the bold and the pretty um, or the trendy and something new and fun, but we overlook and forget about how important those basic pieces are and what an integral role they play in our wardrobe. So the analogy that I use a lot is your basics are the foundation for your wardrobe, and without that, you can't build. So just like your house, your wardrobe needs a solid foundation. So it's essential, cannot stress enough, that you kind of go through this checklist and not only say, yes, I do have the skinny jeans or I do have the dark jeans, but also really carefully consider whether those um, items are current, whether they fit and flatter your body, whether they are pieces that you want to wear and you feel good in and you feel comfortable in. Um, you know, if they're dated, that's something you need to think about. You have to upgrade at that point. So you kind of have to go through and just like we did with your closet edit, be really truthful with yourself, whether it's your black pumps or your dark wash jeans or your um, little black dress, just taking a very a critical eye to those pieces and really getting real with yourself and thinking, is this really a piece that I want to wear? So once you have those basics covered, then you can add in the color and the fun and the, and the prints and the sparkle and the glitter and anything that you want because you have all of those foundation pieces to pair with those colorful pieces, if that makes sense. So um, that's why it's so important. So once you have those great basics, then it's just a matter of, you know, you bought this new cool top that you really wanna wear, you pull out your great jeans, right? And then you, your classic great pumps and you're done. Okay, so here's how I'm gonna kinda walk you through those basics. What I need for you to do is to click on the link in the description box right after it says subscribe to blog or subscribe to newsletter and subscribe to the newsletter. Once you subscribe to the newsletter, then you will be sent a um, wardrobe checklist, which will have you know delineated all the pieces that you need for both uh, spring, summer, and fall, winter. So subscribe to the newsletter, you'll get that checklist and that's something you can easily print out and kind of go through in the closet. You can, when you subscribe, pick either a daily or a weekly option and it doesn't really matter. You still get the wardrobe basic checklist. So it's totally up to you and your email preference. All it means is the daily you get 
blogs as they're published, sent to your inbox, and the weekly is you get one email on Fridays as a sort of roundup of the week's posts. So totally up to you, but you will get that checklist. It was just gonna help this process so much for you. And again, just, I don't wanna go through each individual piece because I think that that would be just an epic long video or two videos or three videos. So I'm gonna say, subscribe to the newsletter, get the checklist, print out the checklist, Think about every piece on the checklist, whether or not you have it, whether or not it's something that fits and flatters you, whether or not it's something that's current, whether or not it's something in good shape, whether or not it's something you like and you, and you will wear. So um, those are all the things to consider when you're going through it. If you have any questions, you can comment or you can email me, erin at busbystyle.com and ask me. Um, and I am happy to help on that front, but I think this is the kind of the way to streamline the process a bit. And um, also what I'm going to do, like I did last time, I'm gonna create a little boutique page on my website where I put some basic recommendations in the shop. So it's gonna be like a shop page on my website and then there'll be some basics recommendations from everyday handbags to flats to summer sandals to the little black dress to the little white dress, the jeans, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I think between those two things, that should be pretty helpful in um, just ensuring that you have everything you need. So I'll try to you know, cover my favorite t-shirts and my favorite, um, you know, everything across the board. So anyway, good luck with the process. This whole thing is a process. It's not super easy, nothing in life that is worth having, as my husband always says, it comes without hard work and sacrifice. So um, you do have to put in a little you know, elbow grease and, and work and roll up the sleeves and get in there and get in your closet and really go through those pieces. But again, I just can't stress enough how critical a part of your overall wardrobe this is. And the last thing I just wanna say about your basics is that I think, you know, saving money on your um, trendy pieces is a great idea because trends come and go so quickly, but your Basics will stay for a while. So I do think it's important to invest a little bit more money in your basics so that you really have those pieces that you love to wear and are excited to wear and the fit is impeccable and the quality is wonderful and they hold up well. Um, so that's just something else to think about. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next. Style Reboot is going to be um, online shopping tips, which, which I'm really excited about and a lot of you have asked for anyway, so I think that's gonna be a good one. But um, again, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Link to the boutique and the newsletter link below. Um, and thank you again, that's it. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.